Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It is Tuesday, the 11th of October. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, global share markets were lower overnight. On Wall Street, US stocks fell as Fed members reiterated the need for tighter monetary policy. That pushed interest rate sensitive stocks lower, particularly tech. The Nasdaq closing at its lowest level since July 2020. Microsoft was among the biggest drags on the three major indexes. And chip makers also came under pressure, the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index falling around 3.5% to a two-year low after the Biden administration unveiled a set of export controls to cut China off from certain chips made with US equipment. NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Micron Technology and advanced micro devices were all lower. Investors were also cautious ahead of the US third quarter earnings season, which begins on Friday, with the major banks reporting. Investors are also awaiting US inflation data out this week. Well, while tighter US monetary policy has begun to be felt in the economy, the full brunt of interest rate increases still won't be apparent for months. That's the assessment of Fed Vice Chair Lael Brainard, saying output has decelerated so far this year by more than anticipated. I now expect the second half rebound will be limited and that real growth will be essentially flat this year, she said. While Chicago Fed President Charles Evans said, I think we can bring inflation down relatively quickly while also avoiding a recession. However, citing runaway inflation, big interest rate hikes, the Russian invasion of Ukraine and quantitative tightening, JP Morgan Chief Executive Jamie Dimon has a very different view, saying these are very, very serious things which I think are likely to put the US and the world in some kind of recession six to nine months from now. The US government bond market was closed for the Columbus Day holiday. Major currencies were weaker against the US dollar, the Aussie dollar continuing its precipitous fall below 63 US cents before rebounding slightly. Well, ASX futures are pointing to a modest start this morning, up around one-fifth of a percent. Global oil prices have fallen back. Brent crude down around 1.8% as the prospect of a global recession outweighs the effects of forthcoming supply cuts. Iron ore producers are likely to extend their gains on the local share market with futures for the ore up around 1.8% to $97 a ton. Base metal prices were mostly weaker although copper rose, and gold prices fell more than 1% on US dollar strength. And the crypto market followed equities lower as investors await the US inflation report later this week. And that is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.